Hey everybody, Derek here from Badgerland Birding. Today we're doing another Smart Bird Feeder unboxing and review. This is the Smart AI Recognition Bird Feeder from Farmice. And this is kind of like, I feel like there's a lot of derivative products that look similar. So this is one of the ones that are similar to other ones we've tested. It uses the Bird Lover app, which I have not had good luck with for the AI. Um, but yeah, it's very similar to the other units. So we're gonna test it out. I imagine it's gonna be comparable, but we'll see, you never know. So let's get it open. And with these, it's like the whole unit just comes out in one. Bam, there we go. So that's that's our smart bird feeder. Um, oh no, this has the back panel. Some acrobatics there. This has the back panel that screws on in the top. And I did not like this for the last one because seed got stuck in it and squirrels chewed it open. Somebody chewed the back open. So already I'm not a huge fan of that with these that load. I like when the top, you can like just pull it up and down and then put seed in, but I don't, not a big fan of this design right away. I can already tell you. But uh, we got the camera set up here, like the main seed uh, reservoir with the camera and the solar panel. And then let's see what else we got. Perch right here white and then we have our mounting equipment so this is the stand with drill stickers so this we'll put this on here and then we'll put our feeder on top and then there's also a charging cable and then this goes underneath the stand and then we'll screw it in and that hooks the feeder up to the stand and then we also have screws and this little um, thing to click and turn the feeder on. It's like one of the things you use with an iPhone. And then the instruction manual. So let's get the basic setup going. I didn't charge it, but hopefully it'll have enough charge where we can get a test out of it. Normally you want to charge them before you start. These are the screw holes. So this goes like this. Always satisfying. It's a little plastic piece on here we'll take off. Flip it to on. Plug this in. This connects solar panel to the camera. And then you can adjust the angle too. Then we'll put the screws in for our perch. It is plastic, so don't go overboard. So this is what I'm talking about with the back. Like seed loves to get stuck in here and then it doesn't want to close correctly. Then we got seed in the holes where you put the screws in. It's just, it's definitely not my favorite design. Now that we've got our feeder set up, we will get it set up in the app. So I already have the app. So there's an account already, but you can make your own account. And then we will have it use Bluetooth. Smart bird feeder. Reset the device. That's when we use this. So there's a little button you gotta push in to reset the device. Device is powered on, hold the reset button. So we'll connect to Wi Fi. So it says it was added successfully. Smart bird feeder camera four. 
So one interesting thing is there's an S micro SD card slot, but there's no S micro SD card that came with it. So maybe I'll have to add my own. It's nice to have a detailed what's in the box section. Looks like it's working without an SD card. Hey, we're working. So how this app works is it's showing us a live stream of what we're seeing right now. And then we can click the button with the bird and the like kind of the square around it to use the AI. Historically, this has not been an accurate AI. Uh, the photo button is going to take a picture. The video button is going to take a video. We can go full screen and it should send us notifications whenever there's motion. When it says there's motion, we got to look at the live stream and then we can use the features to take video. It will take like a picture when there's motion. So they'll have some idea of what's there. Um, but it's more, you got to be like watching it to do stuff. And then it also has a squirrel siren. So sometimes if you're watching, you can scare squirrels away. In my experience, they kind of get used to it. And then uh, you can one way talk into it too. Testing one, two. One, two. So you can do that too. So I've yelled at squirrels in the past. With the feeder, we were able to capture some cool media, including a visit from a raccoon at night. And the AI identified some birds correctly, but was horribly wrong most of the time. Here is some of what we captured, including the motion photos the feeder takes automatically, and photos and video I captured manually. Some final thoughts on our smart bird feeder here. The AI is laughably bad. Anyone that use the Bird Lover app, they just, they're not gonna get the ID right all the time. It's honestly kind of fun to see what they think it is. So if you do get this, don't get it for the AI. Overall, it does what it needs to do. It's live streaming, that's working well, you can see the birds. Uh, you do have to do a little more work to take, you have to be the one taking videos, it will take that snapshot for you when it detects motion, but it's working well, the solar panel is doing its job, it's keeping it charged. I'm still not a fan of this uh, in the back here, I ended up putting some tape on it just to keep it closed, because um, I actually wasn't able to find the screws. I think they were included, I just misplaced them, but the tape, you know, works, but then you got to take it off when you refill it. I did have some issues with these bottom screws wanted to come out not the ones i put in but the ones that came attached to the plastic here so i'd probably tighten those to make sure you don't have any issues with it overall it was cool to test out and see the images we definitely got some cool stuff and uh always fun to do a smart bird feeder review what do you think about what we captured what do you think about the ai and thanks for watching we'll see you next time on badgerland birding yeah.